Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, we'll be discussing the best laptop for music production of 2022. All links to the products are given in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. First, we have the MacBook Pro 14 inch. The Apple MacBook Pro 14 is a high-end laptop with Apple's M1 Pro and M1 Max OCS. It looks almost identical to its larger sibling, the Apple MacBook Pro 16, and it feels just as well made with a complete aluminum chassis. Its sharp mini LED display can adaptively increase the refresh rate up to 120 Hz to make motion appear smoother, and it can produce deep blacks and bright highlights to provide a fantastic HDR experience. It also has a wide color gamut, which makes it ideal for content creators. The keyboard is comfortable and does not cause fatigue over time. The haptic touchpad is large and responsive, and the video quality of the webcam is excellent. The Apple M1 Pro and M1 Max OCS can handle demanding workloads like video editing and 3D animation. Thanks to their incredible power efficiency, the battery lasts more than 12 hours of light productivity and 9 hours of video playback. Unfortunately, the battery is the only user-replaceable component, so there is no way to upgrade any details later. Next, we have the Dell XPS 13 305. The Dell XPS 13 is a premium ultra-portable Windows laptop with Intel 11th generation processors. It has a modern, sleek design with an anodized aluminum chassis and a carbon fiber keyboard deck. The 1080p screen has near 500 CD per m squared brightness and complete sRGB coverage, displaying accurate colors. You can upgrade to the 3.5K OLED or a 4K IPS panel if you want even sharper images and text. The battery lasts over 10 hours of light productivity or 5 hours of video playback and takes 2 hours to fully charge. It only has two USB-C ports, but both support Thunderbolt 4, allowing for data transfer speeds of up to 40 gigabytes per second and video output to two 4K monitors at 60 Hz. It can only handle general productivity tasks like web browsing, text formatting, spreadsheets, and video playbacks, like most thin and light laptops with a power efficient CPU and integrated graphics, and not demanding workloads like video editing or AAA gaming. Following, we have the Rogue Zephyrus G14 Alan Walker Special Edition. Asus and Alan Walker work together to create this unusual portable, combining the power of the Rogue Zephyrus G14 with some impressive music DJ features. That fundamental proposition is carried over in this new second generation special edition model, but with a unique twist. Collaboration with the eponymous DJ and musician Alan Walker. Alan Walker has worked with Asus to create a new version of the G14 that combines music and gaming. The G14's basic design is retained, complete with a funky anime matrix programmable LED feature on the back of the display. However, various changes, such as a change to the metallic gray, fabric inserts, and new keyboard colors, result in a distinct contemporary look. The extras in the box, rather than the laptop itself, may be what distinguishes this version of the G14 from its siblings, or more precisely, the box itself. Yes, truly. The package also functions as a synthesizer or mixing pad. It connects to the laptop via USB-C and works with a dedicated app on the computer to allow for the creation of music content. Touch-sensitive places on the box control track speed, sample loading, and sound effects work in tandem with optional visual effects that can be displayed on the laptop screen or output to an external display. It is debatable how well it works in terms of music content creation. It's a fun extra that adds to the scene that this is a unique and special laptop, rather than a spec-driven, box-ticking affair. This is probably just as well, because the spec is slightly disappointing in one area. The AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS CPU, which is extremely powerful, is one of the highlights. The 14-inch 2560 by 1440 pixel IPS display is also a 120Hz stunner, and has an excellent balance of detail and performance, though it could be a little brighter. Next, we have the Surface Laptop 4. The Surface Laptop 4 from Microsoft is more of an evolution than a revolution, fitting better components inside the same thin, light chassis as the Surface Laptop line's previous models. Microsoft hasn't tried to position it as anything other than the latest Surface Laptop, which it claims lasts longer and has more power than its predecessors. I would have preferred to see Microsoft attempt a more radical change with the Surface Laptop's design, but for the time being, you'll have to look inside to see what's new. The most recent Surface Laptop sticks closely to the minimalist design of its predecessors, which is both welcome and a little underwhelming. 
For better or worse, Microsoft Surface Laptop 4 has fairly limited port choices. A surface connector is present on the right side of the device for charging, and there are USB-A, USB-C, and headphone jacks on the left. The Surface Laptop 4's 13.5-inch 2256 x 1504 pixel screen has its advantages, especially if you do a lot of reading, writing, or other activities that profit from having the additional vertical space, provided by its 3 to 2 display ratio. Next we have the Dell XPS 15 9500. The Surface Laptop has always been an eye-catching piece of hardware, and the Surface Laptop 4 is no exception. The model we received for review is the 13.5-inch Surface Laptop 4, and it's one of the lightest and thin laptops we've ever used that isn't entirely inconvenient for type-on. It comes in four different colors, and we choose platinum. It's stunning. The Platinum Surface Laptop 4's lid is platinum colored, with only a Chrome Microsoft logo square in the middle of the laptop. The laptop's bottom is similar, but the keyboard tray is a slightly darker color. However, the company has finally made some changes to the larger XPS 15, which piqued my interest. That being said, it will be costly. For years, the new XPS 15 has carried the same design. Not that it's a bad thing, but it has primarily resembled its smaller sibling. Dell has taken a more universal approach this year, and the new XPS 15 9500 now reassembles the 13-inch model. The lack of USB Type-A ports make it slimmer, and the display now extends all the way down, making it far more immersive. It is more contemporary. Lastly, we have the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. Dual screens, OLED technology, stunning engineering, high-end components, and a tinge of existential angst? That will be the brand new Asus ZenBook Pro 14 Duo OLED UX8402 for 2022. What an incredible machine, the combination of a stunning 14.5-inch OLED display running at 120Hz and capable of an incredible 100% coverage of the DCI-P3 gamut with a full-width secondary screen is the main draw. Both panels support touch input and inking. Add to that Intel's latest 12th generation CPU in a monster 14-core configuration, a discrete NVIDIA GPU, a ridiculously fast SSD, and a hunk of fast DDR5 memory. Thunderbolt 4 spec USB-C ports, Wi-Fi 6E, and an SD Express 7.0 card reader round out the connectivity. It's all wrapped up in a high-quality chassis in the typical Asus style. If that sounds like a fantastic deal, it is. However, there are a few unanswered questions. For starters, the dual-screen setup necessitates unusual keyboard and trackpad ergonomics. Then there's the issue of how all that display technology affects battery life. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel.